Hi everyone, my name is JT Pilot and today we'll be making another review. This time we'll be doing a one furniture scale review of this Panda Models Delta Airlines Boeing 767-400ER. This model along with a few other Panda 767 were part of a September 2023 release that started to arrive to retailers in April 2024. So, yes, this is a flat out amazing Panda Models release and I'm just super excited to finally have a high quality Delta 767-400 in my collection. Way better than the Gemini Jets version they did last year, which we'll be, we'll be comparing on in this video. It's great to have a high quality Delta 767-400 and one without a special sticker. And this is a brand new mold, so it's always exciting to review a new mold on the channel. So, so yes, yeah, so, so this is how I do reviews. I will be starting off with the box of this model. Then I'll go in-depth. I'll do an in-depth analysis of the model itself. I'll be scoring some of my JT score. Then at the end of the day, you'll be seeing some outdoor model photos for this aircraft from my Instagram account. So nonetheless, let's get started off with the box of this model. All right, so starting off with the box of this model. So the box of this aircraft is... Really nice. I really love Panama's Delta boxes. They're great. So on the top, we got the Boeing 767-400 titles. We have the CGI image in the middle. Then the bottom left, you have the Delta Airlines logo, along with the restoration, which is number 825 Mike Hotel. Then at the bottom of the box, you have your 767-400 titles. You have your Delta Airlines logo there. Then you have the CGI image of this aircraft there. And the restoration again, and the I number, which is 52361, and one for the scale diecast model. Then on the right side of the box, you got your Delta logo. And then the top of the box is the same as the, as the bottom of the box. And then the left side is the same as the right side of the box. And then proceeding onto the back of the box, we have the Delta Airlines logo, the CGI image, the Bone 6, 767 titles, and the warning labels on the bottom line. And all right, so starting off with the left side of this aircraft, I'm going to be starting off with the nose section. So starting off with the nose of the aircraft, here are your copy wins, a fly on amazing shape. They're perfect. And like the Gemini Jets version, that can be said for a lot of this model. So here you have the Weber cone there. You have your stack ports and pitot tubes, the Sky Team logo. And you have your nose landing gear there, looking great, great shape. And it's a perfect size as well. You have your L1 door there, the Delta Airlines logo, the Wi-Fi box, another antenna. You have your L2 door. You have your landing lights there. And you have the wonderful engines looking fly out amazing. Then you have another Wi-Fi box there, so this model does have an accurate amount of of aerials, then you have, here you have the wings. So you have your, and here you have your um. Here you have the end of the wing there. So there you go. This the racked wing tips there. This is looking for the right word there. And then you have your flaps and fairings, all that over there, and the ailerons. And then there you go. And then you got your L three door. You have another antenna on the bottom. You have another antenna on top. You have your registration, which is your eight two five Mike Hotel. United States flag, we got a door down there, then the L4 door, and then you have the Delta Airlines tail, looking fun and amazing, the, looking great, and then you have your fleet number on the top, and the vertical stabilizers and the, and the horizontal stabilizers are looking perfect. And here is the back of the model, looking flat out amazing, you see the APU exhaust there, the ends of the the engine nozzles as well, and then the stabilizers once again. And proceeding on to the bottom of the model, so here you have the bottom of the tail there, and then here you have the Delta Belly there looking flat amazing. There is a stand hold on this model. And my only criticism of the model is the wing landing gear. They do not tilt, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But other than that, they're looking great. So you, you have another antenna there. And then the um, anti-collision light. And then the nose landing gear looking perfect. So a lot, the underside of this model is looking flat out amazing. And here is the front of this model. So here's the inside of the engines. Look at all that fan blade detail there. That is perfect there. Then your then you have your wing lights there, or your landing lights. So when you got the nose, you're right there. Any copy windows are looking flat out amazing. And proceeding onto the right side of this aircraft. So here you have your R1 door there. You have a big baggage hold there. Your R2 door, your R3 door, another baggage hold in the R4 door. And that is it for the review portion of this this model review. So looking flat out amazing. It's comparison time between the Panda models and the Joe that's does some 600 for inside. I don't even know if you got guys aren't even gonna need me to explain to you which one is which uh because this Gemini Jets version is obviously not looking too great um yeah so starting off our first comparison area is the nose of the two aircraft so the PMLs has obviously got the Gemini Jets version beaten by a lot um the copy winds are better shaped the nose is overall better shape on the panda on your left this Gemini Jets version is very wonky um the copy winds are misshaped your nose cone is very weird and the nose landing gear um, does not sit on the ground. So it kind of um, levitates there, if you can see that. 
So it kind of levitates there. So that's a little unfortunate there. So that is a big, one of my most major criticisms of the, um, the botched Gemini Jets um, 764 mold. They're new. This is, this is a new mold, by the way. Um, not really a new mold because they kind of use some older mold aspects, but it's really not good. And then the Gemini Jets version, the antennas are not the right shape. Um, they're too large. Uh, that's a big problem. Uh, the Wi-Fi boxes are okay, but the Painted Miles version is more accurate. Then the wings on the Gemini's version, uh, they're just not good. Um, it, the wings are, yeah, they're not good. Um, they're, I don't know. They just look a little outdated. The mold, the joint area could be a little bit better. The engines are kind of pointed down on that model, which is a little unfortunate. And overall, the Gemini's version can just use more detailing. Because um, here's a side-by-side -side view. Um, yeah, the, the Gemini Disc version doesn't have any wing flex, but the wings are kind of a little drooped a little bit down. So you, the Panama's version, you have highly detailed engines, while the Gemini Disc version does not. Um, the laying gears on the Gemini Disc version, it's bad. It's just bad. Um, so it's great. We have another um, 767-inch 400 molds right now by Panama's. NG will soon be bringing out their own 767-inch 400 mold. I may review one of those, and we'll do a freeway comparison. But overall, the Gemini Disc version is not looking too hot, and the Panama's version has gotten Gemini Disc version just being on about every category. And plus, the tail portion of the Gemini mold isn't great as well. So, yes, uh, that's it for the comparison. Let's proceed on to the JT score for the Panama's Delta Airlines Ben 767-400. And all right, folks, so that concludes today's review. We'll be moving on to the JT score portion of this model aircraft review. So overall, this model was almost a perfect model. Like, um, Panama's has gotten a 5 out of 5 on every category of this model. Um, everything is perfect on this model besides those landing gears not being tilted. That's a pretty un unfortunate mess on their end. Um, if you're going to include rolling landing gears, might as well make them tilt just to make their craft a little bit more realistic, especially with that stand hold, you know? Um, just because you can put a stainless small and make them all look like it's landing, but it's all right. It doesn't really bother me too much. This aircraft will be on the ground for like 99.9% .9 of its display life, so there you go. But overall, the main highlights for this mold is it's just better than the Gemini Disc mold. It's great. We have a finally high-quality Delta 700 so there you go. Um, yeah, the main highlights are the engines are good, great. The wings are great. The nose is a great shape. And it has a proper amount of aerials and great QC on it. None, none of these have come broken. I know Pan Miles has struggled with the QC recently. And that is it for today's review. So here are some outdoor photos of this lovely Pan Miles release. So overall, I highly recommend to purchase this model if you can. Uh, it's been sold out a lot of retail so There's a lot of people out there trying to buy it. So yes, so I would definitely get this model. If you can't find it, I would even just... If you really need a Dell 767, I guess get the Gemini Disc version. But I would just wait... For either this model that have a restock or just wait for an, an eventual NG release. Because NG are bound to do it too. And I may get the NG version just to compare with this model. But this is an overall an excellent pain models release. I highly recommend for anybody to purchase this model. So I'm JT Pilot and I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video. And have a wonderful day.